Hey, hey, Coach Sogo here. I've got a workout for you, including some weights. So we're gonna go from a lower body block to an upper body, back to lower, back to upper, and a bonus ab block if you have the time. All right, so you are gonna need some dumbbells today. I have a set of 10s and a set of 15s. You're also gonna need a yoga mat. And that's it. So uh, set a Tabata timer for your warm up for 10 intervals this time. We have five exercises, two times, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. All body weight here on the warm up. All right, so first up, Tabata exercise number one. We're gonna take feet wider than hips. It's alternating sweeps. We're gonna take our arms straight up, pick a side. We're gonna rotate down to the feet, all the way back to the top, rotate back the other way. All right, we're just getting the body moving. So you can start off with pretty straight uh, bent legs. And as you get the hamstrings warm, you can kind of go a little bit straighter legs so you can get more hamstring warmth right there. Next up, left foot forward, right foot back. Cover your cheek. We've got uppercut out of that back side. Quick snap of the elbow like you're punching a punching bag. 30 seconds there. Split our stance the other way. Cover your cheek so you can be authentic as you punch out of that back side. Nice quick punch. We're warming up shoulders and biceps. Rocket squat. Feet, again, wider than hips. We got a three count descent and a jump out of the bottom. So three, two, one into the squat. Power out. Three, two, one. Power out. Three, two, one. If you're not jumping, take it to a calf raise at the top instead of the jump. And then a high knee three step. So we jog, jog, stick. Jog, jog, stick. Three, two, stick. All right. Every other time we pop that knee up and stick it. Go through those five two times, and then you'll be ready for your body weight, sorry, total body work today. So starting with probably your heavier set of weights, we're going into deadlifts for 10. So three exercises, three times. Feet are gonna start right underneath your hips. Roll your shoulders back. Booty sticks out the back. We slide down to mid shin and back to the top, weight in your heels. So from here, Nice tall posture. All the hamstrings, soft knee to flat back, back to the top. Two counts down, two counts up. Hold two dumbbells for ground to press. Take your feet about hip distance, maybe slightly more. We still just gotta clear your hips with your weights. Drop into your squat, booty back. From here, bicep curl, press, and back down. Squat, bicep curl, press on your ground to press. All right. Then palms to elbows, set your weights down. We're going to your mat in your plank position. This is for 10. So start on your right side and go from palms, walk it down, walk it up. Stay on that same side for five and then you can lead off the other side for five. Brace your core, belly button to spine. Block, through, block one, you're gonna do three times and then we'll move on. Next up, we've got an upper body block. We're gonna work the lats for two in a row before we come down to the mat. So first off, our split stance, low row. So I'm gonna go with my heavier weight selection. From here, we're gonna split your stance and you can go ahead and just take a knee with your hand here, roll your shoulders back. We've got our um, hammer hold as we squeeze up. Up, pause, down for two. Do that low row on each side for 10, then grab your second weight for your hip hinge high row. So we find a spot for your eyes hinge so you get a little stretch in the hamstrings. Knuckles are toward the floor as we pull up high and wide, squeezing on those lats another way. So here, hip hinge high and wide with the elbows and down. Time under tension, keep it slow and controlled for 10. And then our bird dog, we're coming down to tabletop position. All right, so brace your core from here. We got opposite arm, opposite leg extending, and back down, find a spot for your eyes to look at the floor for a neutral neck. All right, grip your core for that balance. We've got 14 total, seven each way. Block three, we're gonna go down, uh, actually it's lower body. We're gonna pick a set of weights again, to hold. I'm going to go with my lighter set this time. We're going to do a swing through lunge. So, 
start with feet hip distance apart, right side, step back, drop the knee for that big lunge. From here, we swing through and lunge forward. If you need to tap down in the center, you can. We're going from back lunge to forward lunge, like you're on railroad tracks. Back lunge to forward lunge. You're just holding those weights by your side. We're gonna get five on the right leg, and then we'll switch. Make sure feet are underneath your hips and not too narrow, all right? So we're back dropping that leg. We swing through, we swing back, we swing through. All right, so back forth equals one for five, again, on the left side. Then I'm gonna go heavier. Sumo squat means wide stance. So wide stance, angle your toes, chest is up. We're getting ready to go into a squat. We'll set it down and get a frog jump, all right? So we squat, we lift, we lower, we jump. So just like that, if you're not jumping today, take it to a calf raise instead of the jump. All right, you've got 10. And then we go to plank, Spider-Man. So we're down into our plank position again. Abs are on, belly braced. Palms drive into the floor. From here, we bring your, out, your knee to your elbow, out wide. Wrap that knee around to the elbow, and back to center. So you're gonna get a little oblique contraction on your side abs. 14 total, seven each way. All right, back to our upper body block. We're going down to the mat. We're gonna do chest fly, so I'm going with lighter weights this time. Because it's pecs, but it's also some shoulder too. So, we're gonna bring your heels in, push your weights up, bring your booty up. So now you're in the hip bridge. From here, we fly. Slightly bent elbow at the bottom, Bear hug, squeeze back to the top. We're right here for 10. Next up, drop your hips. We come low with your elbows right next to your chest. We start with the elbows at the bottom, touching the floor. We drive up in that close grip chest press. So keeping it close. If you wanna go a little bit heavier on this one, you can. I can probably go heavier on the close grip versus the fly. There for 10. Then we flip it over, body weight, cross body mountain climber. Drive your palms into the floor. We're going slow and controlled on this mountain climber. Wrap the knee underneath and back. Wrap the knee underneath and back. We got 14 total on that cross body, hip under mountain climber. Brace your core, all right? All right, we've worked our way to the ab blocks and now we need a timer. So you're gonna set your timer for three minutes. We have 30 seconds, one minute, 30 seconds, one minute. So, starting off with right side, side plank, leg lift. So bending your elbow, your elbow's right underneath your shoulder, stack your feet, we're gonna lift up and squeeze on this oblique. From here, we're gonna lift and lower that top leg on our side le uh, leg lift. If that stresses your underneath knee, just wrap your knee under, also come up though in that solid uh, oblique squeeze, and from here, lift and lower that top leg. 30 seconds, then we flip over. Watch your timer, hold it here in the plank for 60 seconds. Squeeze, 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 abs are braced, chin is up over underneath your thumbs, push back and forward at the same time. After a minute, we're gonna hit the other side. So then we've got left side down, stack your elbow under, stack your feet. We lift up from here, lift and lower on your leg lift, or cross your knee, squeeze up, lift and lower. So you're gonna get a little adductor action, as well as you're bracing your core at the same time. And then we finish with that final one minute plank, squeezing it, holding it, shaking as normal, and that'll be a wrap for today. Way to go, so proud of you. Give me sweaty selfies. I believe in you, you're amazing. Bye.